Guys, this is a day we've all been waiting for since before 1.18 even came out. Minecraft 1.19, the wild update, is officially out. Welcome back to uh, another video. This is a day we've been waiting for for a very, very long time. 1.19 is officially out. So, um, this means when a new Minecraft update comes out, it means one of two things for me nowadays. It, the new Minecraft update is out and I get to play around with a lot of new features. And two, it means that I'm going to have to spend an hour trying to update all the server software we have on the Population Craft SMP server. Um, but yeah, so let's check out some of the new features in this update. So, one of the uh, new things that is new, newly uh, added in this update, and something that I haven't actually really played around all that much yet, is the uh, the mangrove swamp. So yeah, we have, uh, we have a better swamp in Minecraft. I think the trees are very interesting, actually. But while we're here, we can, uh, we can take a look at uh, the new frog. Yeah, so we have a frog, and we can spawn a whole bunch of them. Uh, really cool stuff here. Um, it's just, just too bad we don't have flies. These guys will just have to, um, pester us for a little while longer. So, another one of the new things in this update, Mojang is, uh, hailing, hailing as a biome, is the Ancient City. Probably one of the biggest things in this update, if not the biggest overall. And I mean, I could see where Mojang is headed with this being a biome, because this definitely is worthy of a biome. And but uh, yeah, so there's a lot of cool stuff here. Chests, where of course we can get other side. Yeah, and disc fragments. So that's another new thing. Disc fragments. Uh, if you get enough of them, you can use them and get the new music disc. Um, and it looks really cool. It's called Five. Uh, it's made by Samuel Al Aberg, who made a lot of the Minecraft Dungeons um, music. So the version, so the music that he worked with, uh, he worked on with Lena Rain, sounds a lot like Minecraft Dungeons music, and I absolutely love it. Yeah. So this place is packed with a lot of cool stuff, but also with the Warden, which is Minecraft's scariest mob at the moment. I'd say it's arguably scarier. And perhaps even just as deadly as an ender dragon. The things, they don't, they look small. But, I'll show you. I just don't want to die, so let me grab a, a totem of undying here real quick. And I'll show you. Look at how scary this thing looks. Mojang really outdid themselves. Look at that, it's screaming at me. Like, do you know any other Minecraft mob that'll, uh oh. Yeah, so this, this thing, it's massive. Uh, it is really cool looking. We have portal, I guess. Yeah, there's nothing really to do with that right now. Uh, but the wool, so wool can block skulk sensors, and that's one of the new blocks. Skulk sensors, if you're within, I think, like 14 blocks, it will trigger and it will emit a redstone signal. So it's a great way to power your redstone contraptions, and it completely removes... The need for pressure plates and buttons now. I mean, just think about it. You're in a house and you walk by and the skulk sensor triggers and it opens your house for you. But yeah, so this completely removes the need for pressure plates and buttons uh, because it emits a redstone signal. So you can power uh, anything just by moving or throwing a snowball. This opens a lot of opportunities for all sorts of stuff. And I'm really excited to be using this in some of my builds on Pop MC. But yeah, so we have a lot of other blocks like the Skull Catalyst and all that. Um, but I'm not going to talk much about those today. Um, yeah, so that's the Ancient City for you. I'd be really stupid if I didn't mention the LA. The LA is uh, Minecraft's cutest mob besides the Axolotl. I think Axolotl will always take... Um, have the trophy for that but this thing while it looks cute it's not a deadly machine either but it will find blocks for you so if i were to give it that yeah okay so if you give it a block it will search 
for that block nearby. And if it finds it, let's 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 say um I take this and I drop a whole bunch of these. It will grab them, pick them up, and it will take it into its inventory and it will throw them at me. And there's also an achievement for it. That's that's pretty cool. Anyway, yeah, so we also have mud. Yeah, so they have the mangrove wood and all that. Uh, and yeah, so that's pretty much the new update summed up. Um, the warden has a lot of stuff, and I didn't go over every single little detail over uh, about every all the blocks and stuff. But um, if you want to check it out, just go and play. Uh, and yeah, so there are some features in the Bedrock edition that I didn't cover, uh, like spectator mode and stuff. But I'm not going to talk about those today. But yeah, so this is just like if you haven't been paying attention for the last two months uh, and you wanted to know like the bare bones basics of uh, this new update. Yeah, so go and check it out. Experiment with the mobs. But yeah, so make sure uh, you check out some of my other videos. I'm currently editing Pop MC videos and it should be out pretty dang soon. Uh, but yeah, if you want me to get it out quicker and you want me to make more videos, please uh, like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and, uh, peace.